Definitely should have brought my sunglasses. Hello, beautiful human, Supreme Rising. Welcome to Flow with Freddie. I am Freddie, and we are going to move through a short, invigorating morning flow. Now, if you are showing up a little bit sleepy, that's okay. Uh, maybe you begin in child's pose instead of cat cow. If you are ready to get moving, uh, let's go ahead and meet in tabletop. Otherwise, get settled into your child's pose. As you can see today, I am using a blanket. I'm not even using a yoga mat. <laughs> I didn't feel like uh, carrying one out here to the field and I really wanted to be out here today. So uh, I figured this would be an awesome opportunity for me to showcase that you don't need a yoga mat either. You can literally utilize anything around you or nothing at all. It doesn't matter, right? This was just a little bit jaggy. So I'm like, I'm gonna bring something. Okay, anyway, let's get started. Child's pose, if you are there, please just sink your hips back and enjoy your sweet breath. Notice how you feel and just fill the vessel up with clean, fresh air. And if you are in tabletop, begin to claw into the earth, press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the chest forward, shoulder blades glide down the back body. And exhale, push and round, navel to spine, chin towards chest, maybe wiggle a bit. And a few more of those. Inhale, drop the belly, pull your heart forward, flick your tailbone up, find a soft bend in the elbows. And exhale, push and round. And keep going. Cat cow, find some spinal flexion, just warming up a little bit. you're in child's pose, maybe you take your hands left to right, stretch out through the side bodies. And if you're in cat cow, maybe you take your hips into circles to do the same. Just feel it out, my friends. I have no idea how many people I'm talking to. So, you know, just leaving the door open for everyone and anyone. All right, and since we are keeping this a little shorter today, begin to wrap it up. And also take stock of how your body's feeling today so that maybe you can get the most out of this practice, meaning uh, if you feel something in your right hip, maybe when we're in our pigeon, you really focus on that, you know, wiggle it out, give it a self massage, something. Uh, take those liberties on your own, but really uh, that's how you're going to make the most out of this practice. So evaluate now if you haven't already. And then slow it down. Find stillness. Curl the toes under everybody. If you're in child's pose, lift your heart up. Inhale. Exhale. Push the earth away. Hover the knees. And then imagine you could bubble up the yoga mat underneath your heart space. So drag your hands back towards your toes and your toes towards your hands. Soft bend in the elbows. Claw into the earth. Crown is reaching forward, tailbone back. Stay here, soften your jaw. Big breath in and exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up as you straighten through the legs. Pedal it out if you wish. I hope my hair is not in the way of this mic. I apologize. And then let's get moving. Anchor through the left heel. Inhale, right leg goes high. Bend the knee, take the toes over towards the left. So we're just opening through the hip a little bit. Lift the knee up towards the sky, squeeze the glute toward, or the heel towards the glute, maybe, maybe not. Inhale. And exhale, corkscrew. Right knee is going to come down and over towards the left tricep, maybe the left elbow. And then inhale, send it back up. Open, lift the knee up towards the sky, push the earth away. Exhale, same thing. Right knee towards left elbow, left tricep. And one more. Inhale, open up. Exhale, this time bring the right knee all the way over, extend through the leg, back foot, back heel is gonna drop, lift the hips up, fall in triangle. Big inhale in, no collapsing into this bottom shoulder, right? But whew, there's integrity, big breath, full, create a full body experience. And exhale, left hand comes down, we're gonna move into a pigeon from here. Pivot your torso, right knee comes up towards the right wrist. Bring your hips down. Oh yeah, and feel this out. You can come down to your forearms. Again, if you're feeling sleepy, if you want a little fire, maybe you interlace your fingertips back behind. And if you want a little bit of both, right? Maybe you support yourself. Hands on your front leg, maybe fingertips on the ground. 
<sighs> Soften your jaw. Maybe you take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. And then once you have your intention, slowly press yourself up if you are lowered. And then maybe, just maybe you bring the palms together for just a second and then bring them back down. Curl the back toes under, lift the knee, lift the hips, lift this right knee up towards the right tricep. That's a big move, right? And then plant the foot between the palms. Awesome, fingertips stay down. Pull your heart forward, inhale and stretch it out. And exhale out. Plant the left palm, inhale, open up towards the right. Beautiful twist here, nice, soft, easy twist. Now, if you're sleepy, stay here. If you want a little bit more, we're gonna do some wild thing taps, okay? So claw into this left, uh, the, the left hand, really find that hand to earth connection, allow it to be a root, your, your strongest root perhaps. And then pivot your toes over towards the right. Right foot is gonna lift, tap the earth behind you, find a brief wild thing. And then lift the right toes up and tap them in front. Hips are gonna lower a bit, kind of coming into the side plank variation. And then lift and tap. If you are still in your twist, awesome. Breathe deeply, love on your spine. Right toes lift, bring them in front, tap. Beautiful, one more wild thing. Inhale to open. And exhale, bring it all the way back to your lunge. Whew. Beautiful, everybody bring the right fingertips down. Find a strong root in both feet. And when you're ready, inhale, reach for the sky. High lunge, Anjane Asana. Inhale in, exhale, open up warrior two. <sighs> inhale, peaceful warrior. Right fingertips reach forward, up and back, big stretch. Exhale, listen carefully. We're gonna hover over this front knee for just a sec. Imagine you're squeezing a block in between your hands up and overhead. Beautiful, pivot down, fingertips plant, pick up the back heel. Soft bend in the knee, walk your fingertips forward and lift the left heel in alignment with the left glute. Supported warrior three. Soft bend in the right knee, inhale in. And use your exhale to transition. Rise up, left knee into chest, one-legged mountain pose. Push down through the right heel. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, tree pose. Find a little balance, a little grounding through this tree pose this morning or whatever time of day you're practicing because there's no rules. <sighs> balance here for just a moment. We're almost done with this side and then we're just gonna spin it around and do the other side. So as we navigate this Virksasana, if you would like an extra balance challenge, maybe you take your gaze up and if you need some extra stability, keep your gaze down on the ground, preferably a point that's not moving. See what happens when I move my gaze? I lose my balance. Drishti is very important. A steady point of focus. Let's really set the tone for our day. Wherever you are, press the palms together. Inhale in. And exhale to softly release. Lift this left knee out towards the left. You can give it a little, you know, touch if you want. And then crisscross, left leg goes behind the right. Inhale, reach for the sky, get nice and tall. Exhale, yep, you guessed it, side body stretch. Right hand to left wrist, tilt over towards the right. Hips go towards the left. And then if you really wanna get the most of this length in your tailbone, hips go forward. Take your gaze under your top arm, big breath in. And exhale to rise up. Listen carefully, we're gonna uncross from here. So take your heart over towards the left, spin, boom. We're gonna hop over, inhale, reach for the sky. Maybe you come up onto your tippy toes and exhale, slowly lower down. Nothing fancy, walk it out downward facing dog. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we are done. From your downward dog, when you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, take the toes over towards the right. Lift the knee up a little higher, just open through the left hip. Big breath in, big stretch. Exhale, cross it over, left knee towards right tricep. Two more of those, inhale, open up. Lift, lift, lift. And exhale, bring it underneath, tap. 
One more. Inhale, lift, open. Exhale, bring it on through. This time all the way through. Drop the back heel, extend the left leg. Push the earth away, fall in triangle. Big inhale. And exhale, claw into the earth. Left hand finds those little spidey fingers, right? Cool, one more big breath, lift the hips up. And exhale, right hand comes down. Spin your torso, bring the left knee up towards the left wrist. And find your pigeon. Breathe like you love yourself. Breathe deeply. And then maybe this side is a little bit different. So allow that to be, you know, reality. Uh, we are not symmetrical. I know I say it all the time, but I feel like we forget that. <laughs> so allow this side to be different. Maybe your low back is talking to you. Maybe you want a little fire on this side and you took, you know, the softer uh, variation on the first side. So just, you know, allow it to be. Allow it to be. Come back to your intention that you set earlier. And consider it already so. You're so magical. You are capable of so much. Whatever you want to get done today, it's yours. Whatever you want to get done ever, it's yours. That butterfly agrees. <laughs> oh, we need patience and compassion. We need to stay rooted in our grace. I'm working on that as a manifester in human design. I'm a very bold person. I, I say things that are hard to hear and I need to remember grace a lot. <clears throat> if you're into human design, maybe you leave a comment. Uh, what are you? Where are all my projector friends? I really get along with projectors well. Okay, anyway, when you're ready, slowly press up if you are lowered. Ah, take an inhale in. And exhale, plant your palms, curl your back toes under. Stabilize to shoo, lift this left knee up, up, up. Create the space to plant the foot between the palms. Oh yeah. Inhale and pull your heart forward. Stay on your fingertips. And exhale out. If you want to lower this back knee, do it. Plant your right palm. Inhale, open up towards the left. Big stretch, big breath. Breathe deeply. Take your vitamins. Awesome. Now stay here or if you want to do those wild things, here we go. Nice and slowly pivot. Shoo. Tap your left toes behind, lift your hips up, baby wild thing. And lower the hips down a bit so you can draw your rainbow, left toes come in front. And lift them up, tap behind, maybe you lift your hips, express yourself. And bring it back down, tap. One more, inhale, lift, wild thing. And exhale, bring it all the way back forward. Everybody, left fingertips come down. Stabilize, set yourself up for greatness, and when you're ready, inhale, reach for the sky. High lunge, Anjane Asana. Exhale, open up, warrior two, other side. See, my blank is like all over the place, I don't care. <laughs> inhale, peaceful warrior, take it away. Maybe you close your eyes, really embody the shape. Embody the meaning of the pose, the name of the pose, peaceful warrior. And exhale, lean forward to hover. Extend through the arms, reach and slowly bring it down to the ground. Fingertips plant, pick the back heel up, bend through the, both knees, and then find your supported warrior three. Right heel lifts, soft bend in the left leg. And then here we go, stabilize, engage your center, right? So allow this movement to come from your solar plexus area. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, shh, rise up, one-legged mountain pose, big breath in, and exhale, Virksasana, tree pose on this side. Do whatever you wish with your hands. Maybe you explore here, explore something different. Or if you need more grounding, stick with what you know. Again, I don't love rigidity within a practice. So when I'm teaching, I'm going to like throw out all sorts of things. And as soon as something is like, oh yeah, that sounds good. React, react on that. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, there's so many baby butterflies here. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Find stability. And then when you're ready, inhale in. 
and exhale out. Right knee comes up towards the right side and then crisscross right leg goes behind the left. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, tilt over towards the left. Hips go forward, gaze under your top arm. This is so yummy. Hopefully the outside edge of your right foot is planted. Generously bend through the knees if that feels good. Inhale and exhale to rise up. Here we go, we're gonna twist towards the right this time. Heart goes over towards the right, uncross the legs. Find your hop and bring it in. Inhale, reach up, come up onto the tippy toes and exhale, slowly lower down towards a toe stand. Ah, if you wanna take a crow pose here, go for it. If you wanna check out the supported version, I just posted a tutorial on that. Very fun, maybe you play with that now. And then after you've had a few rounds of breath to explore whatever you're, whatever you're looking for, let's bring the fingertips down, slowly come on down to the bute and find a nice comfortable seat. We're gonna take a couple minutes uh, to just sit with ourselves uh, in exquisite stillness. So please find a comfortable seat. Ah, and I invite you to sit in silence. So instead of turning on a meditation tune or anything, right? Let's uh, not do any of that. <laughs> Find a nice tall seat, press the back of your skull back. Stack ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Soften the skin of the face. Relax the tongue in the mouth. Let go of all the tension in the lower body and allow the legs to be very heavy. Shoulders as well. Notice if your breath has changed. And sometimes that simple awareness right there is enough to shift the breath into a more relaxing Pace, something soothing. Hands on your knees or thighs. Maybe one hand on your heart and one on your belly. Resist the urge to scratch any itches or fix your shirt. Pay no mind to the external disturbances for just a moment. Give yourself 20 or 30 seconds here. And if your hands are not on your heart, let's go ahead and bring them there now. Keep your eyes closed and nice and slowly bring your right hand to your heart and then your left hand on top. Feel your beautiful heartbeat underneath your hand. 
Feel your breath travel in and out of the nose. And just be thankful. Show yourself appreciation for showing up this morning. I thank you for taking the time and sharing it with me. What an honor. Nice and slowly, when you're ready, begin to bring the palms together. Lift your sternum to your thumbs. We'll take one final inhale in. Big, deep, loving breath in through the nose. And exhale. Bow your head to your heart. As we say, namaste. Thank you so much, my friends. If you enjoyed this, I will be creating a longer version with some arm balances. <laughs> the, the fallen triangle is definitely a foreshadow of that. So anyway, if you like this flow and you want something a little bit more, uh, maybe you head over to my Vimeo. That is a great place uh, for you to support this free YouTube channel. Maybe you skip a couple coffees uh, this next month and Go sign up over there and explore. See what else I have to offer. Anyway, thank you so, so much from my heart to yours. Jai, 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 namaste.